Okay, so today, today's tutorial session will be given by me and Intana. So she will join us to give you a presentation on the, uh, today's tutorial session. But before that, if there's someone here who can make a, who can make the connection with the their possible database, the telecom SQL, uh, please share or ask questions. Thank you. We have to make sure everyone has the data. Are all of you able to access the data? Okay, thank you. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, we will continue. I will help you on the Slack. Is there anyone is yes, you can access the data? <clears throat> okay, shall we like uh, do a little like the steps that we? Yeah, I think. We, yeah, let's just show show the tips. All yes. right, let me share my screen. Um, and try to do this. You. All right. Okay. All right. So, um, all right. So we are we are going to do this. Um, so this is on my terminal. Let's see where did I put my okay. Um. So. First of all, um, this is a all right. This is a the, the directory where I put my telecom dot SQL file. So I just need this. And I to this, and I will go. Okay, this is my terminal. I am going to go um to create a new database so first i will um log into my postgres api here let's go okay and create a database so so let's create a database let's call it telecom Simple. All right, it was created and should find it here. It's here. All right, then I'm done with this. Going back to my regular stuff, and now we should be able to, to create a database from, from the file. Yeah. The user, which is Postgres. Um, the host is local host. Database is called the telecom. And the file is here. I have to add called telecom.sql. So this should work. Okay. Password. Or Postgres, which is Postgres, because I just installed. Um, okay, fine. So it was created, and you see, created the table, and copied a hundred fifty thousand records there. Um, um, so that's it. So I have the database basically now. If I go back to my Postgres. So I'm going through just the API, so I will just see it there. Um, sorry. So um, I'll connect to the database and should be able to see the table here, which is XDR data. And like, I can't do anything there. 
any simple scroll query. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so that's it basically. Yeah, so I'm done here. Um, here, here I was using. Um, yeah, is this clear? Is this did any of you manage to do this along with me? Any questions? Shall I assume that everyone has understood? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Perfect. Um, yeah, so. All right, so moving on to the next thing. So we have the database now. We have the raw data in it. So Rodolf, we just uh, created the database, um, which is the same, like uh, the steps are the same as the ones that were shared in the slides earlier. You can find them in the, with the material in week one folder. Um, sorry, Abraham, what are you asking? Let me see the questions. Uh, well, in principle, you can can use something else. Uh, I'm using Postgres. Um, you can use Musk MySQL as well, but I mean, there might be some differences. I'm not sure. Um, but in principle, you should be able to use this file with any kind of uh, a create database anywhere. Uh, someone is asking, like, do you, uh, Abraham, I don't understand the question, really. Do you dump the data in the uh, so No. It, yeah, ask again. So did you just uh, dump the data it's from the telecom database into the Postgres? Yes, exactly. So that, that, that file, telecom.sql, uh, this, this, this file basically tells uh, Postgres how to create the database, how to create the table, the schema, the table, and how, to, like, the data in itself is included. Um, so it's like, it, it takes care of everything. So what what got me confused is that why do we need to just dump it to the Postgres? Uh, we, can we just, uh, you know, use it from the, the telecom database directly? But do you have the telecom database? You mean the one I created in the beginning? Okay. The one I created in the beginning was empty. So just like I created a database that is like has nothing inside it and dumped basically this. Uh, I restored um, using this file, I, I created like uh, the schema and the tables inside it. In the beginning, I didn't have any data. I got the data from the from the file. Yeah, exactly. You need to restore it. But because it's just a dot SQL file, you don't exactly use the pg restore uh, command. Anyway, it's just that and if un unnecessary information. Uh, so if and no one has um, another question, uh, or we can move on to the next step. Which is that what we want to do? Hey, yes. Um, I think like two of us have written in the comment section that you could like repeat what you just did. Can you? Yes. Uh, okay. I can repeat it. All right. So, uh, as I said, like you got this. Uh, I'll repeat the steps again. I will try to. Um, let me go to my, should I go there? Anyway, it doesn't matter. So I have uh, the file, you see, the file you got, you downloaded, I have it here. So this, this is the file we got, telecom.sql, right? So I want to use this file to create uh, the database with the data, with the raw data inside it. 
So what I did is that I first created an, an empty database in my Postgres, uh, an empty Postgres database. And then I uh, basically uh, restored this, the database described in this file inside that. So what I did is like, um, I can show you like the steps here. It was, um, sorry. So, uh, one second, please let it open. Okay, so I just run this um, commands in the terminal. Okay, first, this I'm connecting to the, A uh, the Postgres API and creating a database there. You can name it anything, it's up to you. And then, uh, exiting from the API, I use this command, psql, and then this is the username, which is Postgres for me. This is like the default that once you install Postgres, you get this. Um, I saw the data is on my computer, so I'm using like a local host or host. D is a, is a, name of the database which is the one you called here so this telecom telecom but it can be anything and then the pass to the file telecom.sql so whatever you put wherever you put this file you put the, the pass the full pass here and you run this command it's supposed to like it will like uh, copy the data to your database and then basically have you have your raw data in the database you called here. So is that clear? This is the steps I just did. Like... Yes, it's clear. All right. Thank you. And you have these slides in the um, week one folder, so you can see them there. If you, you try it yourself and if you have any problems, you, you can uh, share on Slack and we will try to help you. OK. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, have, I, I exactly followed the, the, the steps, but I got uh, the XLDR data already exists, alter table, copy 15,000 data, it, 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 it says the same. Uh, but when I try to load it to the Panda, uh, it's giving me uh, some so, kind of value error. Okay, so did you check that you have the you have the database and the and the and the table from without using from pandas just connecting to the postgres api can you see that you have the data uh no i couldn't find it it's only a schema in the the column names not the data okay you don't you don't yeah, see yeah, the yeah. data okay yeah no she, she's going to show now how you can retrieve it from the database to your notebook. So yeah, let's see yeah, that for yeah. you. Yeah, okay, yeah. That, that's true. But I, I mean, the thing is that here, if I go here, I, because I already have the database, everything is fine. I should be able to see everything here. Like if I connect to um, to the Postgres API, sorry, i doing this again. Um, I wrote it wrong, sorry. <laughs> Okay, so I'm uh, okay. So I have the database here. So this is telecom. I connect to it. I should be able to see the table, XDR data, and then I should be able to see the data there. So let's see, select everything from this, but because it's too big, I will limit, let's see, to three. And okay, it looks awful, but uh, the data is there. So I'm supposed to be able to see the data. It's there in the in the database. Everything is fine. Connecting it to the yeah. So you, you yeah, yeah, you're saying right. that you cannot do this, right? You're not able to do to see this. To see no, I didn't. Okay, so I that didn't. means there are, there there are problems that happen when you like uh, created the database itself from the file. So maybe we ha you'll have to do it again, uh, but let's uh, let's uh, follow up on that on Slack, okay? 
Okay, yes. thank you. No problem. Um, someone, yeah, Aaron, go ahead. Uh, I have seen, I have seen uh, this tips uh, and I have restored the data uh, telecom, but yeah. uh, I do, uh, I try to fetch the data uh, from database mm -hmm. and uh, I'll fetch it, but uh, I'm, I should uh, uh, reprocess uh, before uh, taking EDA or not. Hmm? Sorry, so you managed uh, to create, uh, one second, just to understand you correctly. You said you created the database, everything yes. is fine there, and then you are yeah. fetching the data to a Python script or to a, a notebook? No, uh, by, by, uh, by using Python streams, I loaded the, the, the stored data set, but it's not pre-processed. So uh, my question is uh, to, uh, to pre-process, uh, to make an uh, area analysis, we should uh, uh, reprocess first or uh, not? I'm not. I'm not sure. I follow. Um, so what what happens? <laughs> yeah, I have already fetched the data. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah. Uh, to, yeah. Are you able to Wait. load it into your Python oh, or <laughs> not? So <laughs> Come again. A bit noisy. I, I cannot hear anything. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Once you finish, um, okay. All right. So the next step, well, what you want to do next is, uh, um, okay. You you have okay. Uh, um, you want to read your data to to your notebook to do ADA and the rest of um, 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 yeah the rest of the analysis you have to do you will have to clean the data maybe and maybe you will like uh, do some transformation and then you will have to also store whatever transform data back into the database so you're going to read from the database and you're going to write to the database. Um, you, you have to be able to also, like if you need to, you have to be able to delete it, a table if you don't, you want to. Um, you have to be able to do like uh, this basic um, operations. So yeah, I was trying here, uh, but like, okay. I'm writing the, um, so this is my notebook, but I'm, I'm writing like the needed functions here in the script. Okay, I already have uh, like, um, so this is not, yesterday you, you went through like how to write a modular good uh, Python code. This is not like, it's not written in that. It's just defining some functions. It's not completely modular. You'll see that there are issues there, but you should work. Yes, Nasrallah. Um, just uh, clarifications. Um, yeah. When we fish the um, when we fish the data, I think most of us are a bit confused. Um, shall we put it inside as a CSV file, or we need to do it on? the normal database table you mean after after you transform it after you like clean it and transform it right no before before yeah yeah exactly but um also like i think we might need to have multiple csv file for every specific because that's part of the data processing if i'm not mistaken okay so as i understand in this challenge you are asked to like store your data all in the in the database yeah, you, because in the end, you are going to be asked asked to do a dashboard and they want you to connect your dashboard to the database and get your, I mean, basically show your work basically from like the data getting for, getting it from the database as far as I understand. So, of course, in principle, you, are, you, are, you have the option of to store your data in CSV, CSV files. Uh, 
that transforms the clean the anything you do it to it you can store it in csv files but in this challenge you are asked to store things in a database um, so what yeah. you're trying to emphasize is that um yeah we have to um somehow even the data frame on the when we are doing the jupyter node but yeah. we use the normal database That's yeah so the, yes exactly so uh in, in for the exactly so in the notebook uh, how can i the both of them so in the notebook is where you want to do the ada you will load the data the, the the raw data from the database to a data frame and then you're gonna like do your ada there maybe you'll clean it you'll clean the data like in the data frame and you're going to like transform it and from the data frame to store the data you will store it back into the data database so in a different yeah. table so you have the raw table the raw data in this xdr data table and I then do, I, I do know that but sorry to interrupt i oh, sorry I sorry no okay okay correct me yes what i misunderstood what is your question then no no it's, uh, it's loud and clear it's just that um i honestly told the otherwise like get the data put it in simple sv files and from there do the data cleaning and so on and so forth. But uh, yeah, I think yeah. it's more. You, you mean you mean from that database? So from that database, get it to a CSV file, and yeah. then yeah. But you, the thing is that you don't need to do that. You can get the data from the database directly to the to to your Jupyter. Uh, yeah. To your. I I do know that. Uh, it's just that. Uh, yeah. Never mind. Thank you for. Thank you for that. Yeah, no problem. The thing is that you, you, if you are using also data database and CSV files, you're going to have like extra, you're having a copy of the data. So you're taking extra space on your computer. Of course, the data here is small, but in principle, you're supposed to learn how to I honestly, do things efficiently. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's Maybe, just, yeah. I hate to work with databases most of the time. So I always try to avoid it as much as I can. Uh, but I understand the task and the assignment at the end of the day. Yes, the thing is that here you are trying to, you are training to be, uh, to, to work exactly with databases. So this is the challenge. Um, so, um, okay. Um, so moving on, let me, let's look at the script here. So we have, uh, like basically is for some of those functions we have two options to do to do them we have two modules we have the uh, uh, psy copg2 which connects to connect python with postgres and we have also sql alchemy which also does the same thing um uh sql alchemy is like a, a bit more how to say refined uh it's more uh, object oriented uh, um uh, had like a, a more pythony interface let's say uh but in the end you can do the basic things with with both of them so here i'm defining a function that defines a connection to the database and you see here like in this function i i am like um these are the parameters of the connection I want. So the database name. Okay, so here I call the telecom. And um, the user is Postgres, the password is Postgres, of course. At, at some point, you have to learn how to, this supposed, the password, these things are supposed to be secret. You're not supposed to put them on your script and push them on your GitHub, but it's like a um, another step. I'm not going to explain it how to do this right now but some of you might know this already so anyway i have this information and this function returns a connection to me for me this function reads a table from the data a database i have like it takes a table name and the connection and then i have like a, a sql query here select all from a table and um and returns a data frame 
So, it's a, uh, this like a function to read a table completely. So I should be able to read the, the raw data with it. Something like this here. So, um, okay. Um, okay, let me. All right, I have to connect to. Um, have a um, virtual environment. Okay, and somewhere and. Um, I don't know if I remember how to connect to a particular virtual environment here. Can't seem to remember how to do this. Um. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, what is one more? It's a point of the same. I'm sorry, just one second, one minute. <laughs>
Sorry. Um, sorry guys. Sometimes like these basic things I just sleep. Um, how are you guys? Okay. It's, um, we came on. So yeah, so I was saying, like I have a script here that like defines functions to connect to the database and um, create tables or read tables from them uh, to from a table in the database to a data frame and should be able to run this. Yes, someone has a question. Uh, yes, I do. Kindly show us how you have connected your VS Code Jupyter Notebook to a virtual to the kernel because I normally have that problem too. Thank you. Yeah, so I didn't actually um I didn't figure it out how to do it from the start, but I had this connected already. So um okay. Okay. So if someone else knows how to do this, because I, I can't remember actually how to do it, um, okay. how to connect to, like, the thing that VS Code sometimes detects your environments and it gives you the recommendation right away. But uh, when it doesn't give you the recommendation, I don't remember how to do it um, myself. So I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe someone else can, can, can volunteer the answer. So as I said, like this, fu this function just, I defined it here. It's the one that creates the connection to the database. And this function is supposed to read the, like once I pass it, the connection and the, the, the table name should give me a data frame from it. Okay. I'm getting a warning because Is not the best. Okay. okay. SQL Alchemy is, it does this quicker, I suppose. All right. But anyway, I suppose to have my data here. Oh, let's like see head. Rather, let's like see the info. All right, so this is my data. Okay. As um as I want it. Okay. And um okay, what else do you want to do? Yes, there is like also, also um, how you can delete a table the name and the, guess what? What you need is uh, once you have the connection to the database, you define a cursor, then an SQL, um, a normal SQL query, and then you can execute it there. So this is, this is like you can define any function you want. Well, uh, well, you can um execute any sql uh query you want there you can do also connection with SQ, uh, sql alchemy and then the connection the uri is different or how you define it is different well, it's the same information but it just like it takes a different form uh this like uh the user the the password the host the database name I was using a different database, but okay. And and it returns to you an engine, and from there you can like read and write uh, to it. Also, 
So let me use also this SQL Alchemy to, to, to do the same thing. And we can define also, so, so I can get an engine. Um, so I call my script. And then uh, connection to SQL Alchemy. It's nothing. So I'm supposed to get an engine from this one. And um, again, like these functions just work, but I mean, you can like really restructure them in a better way um, so that like maybe you can put them in a class and instead of just having the functions that are scattered around, that would be better. Um, so I can find a different um, say different data frame uh, and then need a table from the scroll alchemy and I have the engine here as I defined the table name it should be the same one so it works fine I need to take it now. Oh, okay. Correct thing again. And uh, to define a function that writes, you can know that. I mean, uh, um, um, I can't, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Um, Pandas had like a very convenient uh, function here called a scroll. I mean, you can define this in a uh, like define a function to do this for you. And suppose that I'm not going to write the same table like this. Suppose I did something to my table. So like um define a new one, clean it somehow. Can I do that? Right. Um, let's say like I just took um, a few These start like a few stuff. Sorry guys, I have I have a problem down here, but this is concerned this. Is this one going to probably I didn't do anything useful here, I'm just like define the different uh, that data frame so that i will just write this one to the database um so to sql function takes a name and a connection so um a name and a connection and a schema name if you want uh, okay I will call it a table. I'll call my table like the clean data. I think uh, the connection could be the engine. I already have it. And um, let me not define any schema just for that. And I'm just. Okay. 
Uh, I'm not sure if like you guys hear me because I, I think I have a, some connection problem. Um, it's frozen now. Okay, so I think our PC got frozen. <laughs> if we have any questions, maybe we should make uh, the rest of the time to accept any questions. She has some issue. Yeah, we So, oh, is there any question you want to share? She lost her connection. Is everything clear? This, to some extent, how you can make connection between your notebook and database? Just give me some kind of confirmation if it's clear or not. Okay, thank you, Waldo. So should I take it, the rest of you? Um, you can continue, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, in the telecom.sql uh, file, it says mm. dump from Ubuntu uh, 14 point something. Uh, maybe is, is that the problem I'm getting? I'm using Ubuntu 22.04. And okay, so yeah, with... maybe you could, you could share your screen and let's see if everyone can help you. Uh, sure, that would be great. Yeah, any of you who are using Ubuntu or Mac, uh, you can guide him. This is his problem. Share your screen. Can you see it? Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. So this is this is the error what I'm getting. Uh, no. I'm not seeing the same Oh, my, my screen. Yeah, um, it's showing it. You are presenting you. Your screen shared, but not visible. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, make it video. I think it's only audio. Oh, you mean the uh, no, that 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 that's on <laughs> not this video. Do you share your entire screen or? or? Uh, let me do it again. I'm sharing my entire screen.
WhatsApp dulu. Can you see it now? Yes, your screen is shared. Now show us uh, your terminal or something. Yeah, this one. Well, could you? I'm, um, I'm using pjadmin yeah, to okay, dump great. the data. Uh, then the XDR table is there on your page. Uh, you mean in the schema? I, I yeah, can't see schema. that schema. It's not here. Okay, so you have to deploy uh, import this through the command. Uh, I, I have tried that one. Let me just show you again. Yeah. I, I okay. get the same the, the, the same error. And let me just create Postgres, right? Um, hmm. <sighs> yeah. So this is what I used. And this is where the telecom SQL data reside. So I did the same thing. Uh, and I put my password. Uh, uh, this, it says it, this data already exists. OK, on the PG Admin, PG Admin, they sit under the table. Uh, where is PJ admin? No, sorry. And this one, it's just a different thing. Yeah, okay. Click the table on the left side, the table folder. Uh, this one? Yeah, that's one. Yeah. Okay. So there is that, that's the data, yeah, yes. Right Open it, right click on the XDR folder. Uh, right click. Yeah, right click. And right. of view, click the view part. View, and then all rows. Views. All rows, yeah. Okay. Oh, so I have the data loaded. Yes, you have the data. Now all you have to do is just uh, retrieve it on your notebook. Yeah, Either using KCD Trophy or a specific alchemy. Uh, let me just show you. So that's in Telcom. Mm, desktop. Uh, did, 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 can I cut any? Week one. Uh, I think it's here. So this is the database, the username, the local host in the So this is what we were supposed to Okay, so uh, that? That, right. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to open try to open it with pandas. I'm gonna send you import pandas. Uh, just try this one uh, after the right. import. Import. No, no. Up, okay, import pandas. As PD. No, yes. that, that's fine. <laughs> no, okay. On the pandas part, I haven't finished. Sorry. Uh, this one. Yeah, on the pandas. Import pandas dot. Uh, okay, what is happening? Okay, PD dot import. No, no, not that. On line number three. 
Yeah. Import pandas dot write the dot p. Yeah. Dot. Io. Io. Dot SQL. Dot SQL. As. Okay. As. SQ. SQ. SQL. And Io. Yes. Okay. Now let's see if you can read the data. Uh, write a query saying uh, select from public dot. You have select select uh, from, from let me can you from or select everything from from public to from telephone. Oh uh where's my pg on, on your slack i have to do the for just go to so i i need to say public dot schema dot table no 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 schema public dot xdr uh, uh underscore data uh okay from public dot x d l underscore data is that correct yeah it is that you there's some conditions you have to include uh, check your on the chat you can i can i share the code Oh, okay. Mm, okay, let me just add. Wow, oh, slow. SQL select from public. Yeah, the PG con replace it with your connection variable. I don't think you have like this. Uh, okay. The Slack part, change it with XDR, Slack data. No, not that one. Here, okay. The F dot H, you will make it like that. Can you just my connection? Yeah, your con, I think. Uh, is it the connection or the cursor? The connection. Okay, we, we will try sequence for now. Make it on con the first one or the cursor. Mm -hmm. So it's it, it's con. And this SQL read SQL SQL IO. This looks okay, I think. Yeah, replace the fabric dirt flag with the XDR in line six. Uh, public dot oh slack yeah change uh, any uh, I don't think your XD are that's correct any from public like this no the name X I think it's the name is XDR right XDR Look it from in call message. Rara. I think it's working. The F dot H and let's see if we get the data. The F dot H. Output the D F. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs>
yes, 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 yes. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, we're happy for you, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Any questions, the rest of you? Okay, so, uh, this would be end of, okay, you can continue. Uh, so, I'm having problems with my Jupyter notebook. I think it's a bug because I have checked on their website and yeah, people are complaining about it, the recent one. So, uh, can you kindly please show us how to connect Google Colab with PostgreSQL kindly, please? So, could I re uh, reach out to you on the Slack? Uh, you, you want? Okay, okay. You okay. can make another meet and okay. Okay. okay, okay, thank you. So, anybody else? Well, since time is also up, uh, try to talk with each other. And if there's an uh, error box, you try to reach out to us. At least every, every single one of you should get the data today, should be able to access it. So, Thank you, everyone. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Have a good night. Yeah, you guys. Yeah. Are Sorry for the technical issue. Thank you, everyone. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> so I think the recording can be stopped now. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Could you stop the recording, Abdullahi?